Here we are at it again. We're at our winemaking facility, going through all of our barrels and <clears throat> through the different uh, barrel producers that we go with. Marie Fee is one of them. And so you're gonna see a whole bunch of different names along here as well. And our different varietals from Merlot to Cabernet, also different AVAs. So there's our Coombsville Cab. 2022 right there, Coombsville Cab 2022. Um, our Napa Cab right there, uh, 2022 Napa Valley Cab, which is in Rutherford, St. Helena. Um, then you'll have <clears throat> specific barrels. You'll have um, you'll have the Vache barrels. You have the Gen 7 barrels, um, uh, different toast levels, but um, you know, um, lots of lots of fun experimenting. You also see here we have. Some of our older barrels. So these were 2019 barrels. It's some either older ones, 2018 barrels, 16 barrels. Some are still producing wonderful um, flavor notes. You know, basically barrels will get neutral in flavor after year four, year five. Just depends on the varietal you put in it. And then from that point, you have a choice to recondition the barrel, uh, get rid of the barrel, um, or uh, add some staves to it and what have you. So right now we're, we have some of our barrels, about 30, Terry, we're about 30 in stock. Yes. 30 barrels in stock roughly that we're going to decide who gets to stay and who gets to go. Um, Omega is a, a newer uh, barrel that we get from Rideau. And so, um, so you can see here, so that's first part. And then we have our barrels over here along this area, this corridor. And when we go through our barrels, we taste, you know, our different vintages. So that's a Merlot right there. It's 2021. And we're tasting that vintage. We're tasting all the barrels today. Um, specific varietals for specific vintages. So we can decide if we want to... Um, bottle that's really the the main purpose behind it all what gets in the bottle this year or what gets in the bottle in the next couple months what stays in barrels um keeps on aging and um and is there a single varietal that we're going to bottle or do we need to do a little blending um 85 percent single varietal what we need five percent of this two percent of that maybe seven percent of this and that just depends so um, that's why we have to taste through every single one. I know it's a tough job. Somebody's got to do it. But uh, Terry and I, we do this, taste the barrels on a monthly basis. Uh, not every single one. We're here specifically um, for uh, our, Merlot pro our Merlot from 2021 to see if it's ready to be bottled this year. And we decided it is not ready to be bottled this year. Um, this comes from Knights Valley, and uh, we also have the 2022 from Knights Valley too, which is right here, Merlot as well. Um, and just finalizing some of our, our plans for this year. So I'll be doing this again next month, but I won't be doing Merlot, I'll be tasting maybe another cab. We're gonna be working on um, a blend, another blend, maybe it's a new blend. Um, which will be cab centric uh, and it will be a vache. So we're working on that and um, it's coming together and we're gonna know uh, next month, we have to do a few things real quick in the cellar and then we're gonna go ahead and taste those barrels again for next month. And then from that point, uh, schedule a bottling right before, probably sometime summer, maybe June-ish <clears throat> before it gets really warm and um, take care of it from that point. But. This is super fun. We will have, we will have um, wine club members day and taste our barrels through. That will probably take place when we do the release um, or the pickup party in April. I've got to work with uh, Terry and the crew on that and we'll taste through some of the barrels. That will should, be, should be super, super fun. But anyway, as always, thanks so much for your support. Like, comment, subscribe. And as always, peace and love. Cheers.